Here we are again, with the most awaited video of the year. And why is this video so expected? Because we all want to see, which ones are the best of the best. In other words, the 10 most popular and consensual projects, elected by the most loyal fans, of the Cafe Racer community. Will the end results please everyone? Probably not. But at least they will please, the vast majority. Especially because this top 10, includes some of the most iconic cafe racers, ever created. But maybe it is better, to let you be the judge of that. Welcome to Racer TV. So, let's begin with the machine that can't be judged using one single adjective. Among all Moto Gooses ever transformed, I don't remember seeing anything like this one. It is the kind of machine we love right at first sight. And it looks absolutely stunning, from any angle. Which means no one, can stay indifferent before it. Although almost everything is handmade, it still has the Moto Guzzi DNA. And I am very happy, for seeing it on this top 10. And here is another brilliant transformation. Especially when we see the before, and the after. It is a very unusual and bold project, which demands a lot of creativity, and high technical skills. But all this gets even more spectacular, after knowing that it is the work, from a non-professional builder. And how does this very bold cafe racer behave on the road? Well, I think the tire smoke in this magnificent photo, speaks for itself. A very impressive work, that really deserves to be on this ranking. Just like the previous motorcycle, I was always sure that this one, would be on this top 10. Because this, is already this builder's third BMW, to reach a top 10 election. Every time they build a new project, it always has something innovative. This time, they solved one of the main problems, about the original K-Series fuel tank. The design of these covers, is simply genius. And it seems most voters, saw how great this K-Series really is. And here is the first custom Honda of this ranking, which is not surprising. Because the iconic CB750, is almost mandatory on this top 10. Everything on this project, looks strong and vigorous. And thanks to some vintage details, it really captures the essence, of the classic Honda from the 70s. A very coherent cafe racer, which conquered a respectful place of this ranking. And here is something very simple, but extremely handsome. Probably one of the coolest cafe racers I've ever seen, among all the small displacement motorcycles. All the proportions, are simply perfect. In fact, the stance and proportions are so well balanced, that from certain angles, it looks to be a much bigger motorcycle. And all this, is the result from a non-professional builder. But I am glad, to see it on this honorable sixth place. 
And here is another astonishing case here is. This is a project, with some features, that almost reach the unbelievable. This leads us, to the awesome LED lighting system. Relatively discreet on daylight, but a very awesome Tron motorcycle, at night. Almost everything, was handmade. And just like the previous motorcycle, this one, was also built by a non-professional builder. Definitely worthy, of the fifth place. And here is another magnificent Moto Guzzi. This project, is impressive in every way. In the aesthetics, power, and definitely the dry weight. One hundred and seventy-five kilograms. A very impressive number, for a bike with one hundred and thirty-six horsepower. I think for any cafe racer purist, it can't get better than this one. Although it didn't win, it ended up with a nice fourth place. And now, it's time to see something much more classic. This Honda, looks absolutely stunning. And it proves that after all, too much chrome, is not always too much. It looks clean, simple, very cool and very well built. Just like I predicted, this project, was one of the most voted. And if it didn't win, at least it reached the podium, with a beautiful third place. And it is time to see the second best machine of this ranking. Probably the most surprising project of this top 10. And why did I say surprising? Because the last time I saw a triumph on this ranking, was 8 years ago. But I am very glad, for finally seeing a beautiful and bold triumph, among the most voted projects. I don't remember seeing any other triumph like this one. And I am sure this new and refreshing approach, had some influence, in it being the second most voted of all. But now, it is time to see the number one. So, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The best cafe racer of 2022. For the first time in all top 10 elections of this channel, we can finally see a Moto Guzzi as a winner. And if this is something never seen before, it means this motorcycle, is really an outstanding machine. No wonder it remained the most voted project, right since the first day of the election. It has everything. Style. Originality. And beauty. It is very easy to see the passion and talent, with which it was built. As usual, I am sure that seeing this project as the winner, won't please everyone. Mainly because there were several amazing projects in this election. But I can say with some certainty, this is the one, that impressed me the most, due to the way it was built. And if you check this project's presentation video, 
you will understand my perspective. The level of craftsmanship skills required to create this guzi is way beyond what most people can imagine. Especially when you don't know that almost everything was created by only one man. This astonishing motorcycle is La Machina. And it was built in France by Nico Labor. Believe it or not, he is not really a professional builder. Although this is his second build, he does it just for passion. It is quite curious to know, that four bikes of this top 10, were made by non-professional builders. Personally, I am very glad, knowing that the self-made project category, is reaching such high level of quality. In fact, I think the level of most candidates of this selection, is exceptionally high. And if we check the final results, you will see that the difference of votes between some of them, is really very small. I am also very happy, for seeing three Moto Gooses on this top 10. Definitely an excellent way of paying a tribute, to an iconic brand that turned 100 years old. And this one, is certainly the best bike to culminate this celebration. Because to create a project like this, the builder must have a vast knowledge on mechanics, industrial design, electronics, engineering, hydraulics, foundry, metallurgy, plating, welding, and finally, an excellent taste, for cafe racers. And it seems most people realized all this when they elected her, the best cafe racer of the year. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.